Thanks guys, now follow me as I check in with some students right here at Colonel Bai to see how they're feeling. Hey, what are you doing right now? I am selling dance tickets and talking to you. And how does that make you feel? I feel pretty good, you know? What are you guys doing right now? Talking. <laughs> Just talking? How does that make you feel? Good! Makes you feel good? Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling right now? Great. Paul, what are you doing right now? I'm looking up statistics on cats in the United States. And how does that make you feel, Paul? There's a lot of cats. What are you doing right now? I am watching intramurals for floor hockey. How does that make you feel? Good. Makes me feel good, yeah. Watching everyone have fun and participate in the school activities, yeah, it makes me feel good. What are you doing right now? Uh, playing intramural floor hockey. How does that make you feel? Happy. Um, excited. We're at lunch and we're about to find our friends. And how does that make you guys feel? Happy. Chill. happy. Chill. Chill and happy? Yeah, yeah. We're happy except a bit stressed, but the teachers here are nice. We like this school. Hayden, what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm doing math homework. I and have a test tomorrow. how does that make you feel? Honestly, it makes me feel great. Getting work done, you know, being productive. I want to know, how are you guys all feeling right now? Good. Tired. Very tired. Goodish. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> good. Good. Lots of goods. We're feeling good. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're selling, or we're doing registration for Relay. Um, I'm eating lunch, and I'm also helping out with registration for Relay for Life. Yeah. All right. And how do you guys feel right now? I'm um, super excited for Relay. Yeah, and I'm happy because tomorrow's the school dance, and I'm very excited. I'm happy because Friday's PD day. Yeah. Right on, guys. Tell me all how you're feeling right now. Feeling kind of chill. Yeah, pretty happy. Pretty stressed. I'm happy. Tired. Tired, stressed, happy. A lot of emotions here. Are we all feeling good, though? Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all yeah. feeling good. All right. What are you guys doing right now? We're just talking. Yeah, and how does that make you feel? Pretty good. Really great. Yeah. How do you guys all feel right now? Happy. Good. Good? Good. Good. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. We got a lot of great answers there. Now let's send it to some students and teachers from across the city to find out their perspective. I think in a healthy and supportive school, students are the ones driving the learning. Uh, uh, to me, it's all about finding that fire and then feeding it. And, and you sort of take the curriculum and you try to weave it as much as possible through what they're interested in. But when you have children that are interested and engaged in what they're learning, then they're they're driven and they feel healthy and if you support their dreams and, and, and take even the littlest scrap of good idea out of some of the wild things that are going on in their heads and, and direct it, then, uh, then you have well-balanced children that feel respected and, uh, and they feel like their ideas are heard. Probably feel just like comfortable, confident, um, the ability to be myself like around people that I know like in my school. You'd feel like you want to be there and you'd be happy to go to school. It wouldn't be a chore, it wouldn't be something that you'd dread, it'd be something like you want to go to school every day. If you were on a sports team, a basketball team, and you weren't the best player, you still feel I still belong in this team, I still have a role in this team, I still have a role in this club or in the classroom, I still have a role in the classroom, I still belong here, and I, people still want me here, and that's definitely what you would feel. You still feel acknowledged and respected by everyone. People should feel like they belong and that they're important. And um, you can do that in many ways. And we want to make sure that no matter who you are at our school, you are valued and you're important. Um, on our name tags, we don't have what our positions are. The name tags are just your name. No matter who you are in the building, you should be getting respect and you should be treated with dignity. No matter who you are as a child in our school, you should be treated with respect and treated with dignity. I think they should feel like they should just be able to be themselves, that they should be able to come to school and be able to learn in a safe space and, and not, again, have to worry about any outside judgments or pressures uh, and just feel that, you know, there's a space for them uh, no matter who they are or what they believe in um, and that it's somewhere that they can really thrive as individuals. They shouldn't feel alone, they should feel like they have multiple systems of support, whether that's the office staff, their teachers, their friends. I feel like it's really important that within the school you should feel like you're on a team, that you have 
a lot of players to always have your back. I think they should definitely feel safe all the time when voicing their opinions. I think they should be safe to, uh, they should feel safe to reach out to their teachers and ask if they have any questions and make sure that if anyone um, does have any questions, they have someone to go to to approach and ask these kinds of questions. I definitely think that multiple support systems is very important. People should should feel like they have a few a few layers to lean back on. They can they can talk to their friends, they can talk to their teachers, but they should feel very, very much like they can say anything they, they like and should feel comfortable in their environment. In a safe place, you feel like you're able to be yourself. You don't have to wear your mask. Uh, people respect you for who you are. And uh, I mean, my students right now, we're reading this book about uh, a child, a, a kid with Asperger's who is bullied at a school. It's called Loser. And uh, my students don't understand why everyone's being mean to this kid because I, I don't know what it is with this cohort, with this school, whatever it is. They're so accepting of each other. I've had since, we started with 21 students in the class and now we're up to 28. And every time a new student came in, they have this culture of welcoming, welcoming them in with open arms, making sure they have someone to play with at recess, engaging them in discussion, finding out who they are, and, uh, and allowing each other to make mistakes, even celebrating each other's mistakes. Um, I try to teach my children that the mistakes are how we learn, uh, especially if you I just like to snowboard and one of the things we say is if you're not falling, you're not learning. I think that students should, uh, should feel as though they're being heard all the time, whether they're in the classroom or sitting in a group at lunch. They should always feel as though that their voice is heard and uh, appreciated. They should feel safe. Everyone has the right to feel safe at their school, especially a high school where you're spending like four years and it's like kind of supposed to be the highlight of your life. So if you don't feel safe there, you might not feel safe anywhere else. So yeah, I feel a person should feel safe in their high school career. Well, they should, they should feel supported. They should feel safe. They should feel happy. Um, they should feel comfortable and confident in, in their school and in their work and what they're able to do. Yeah, I think if they, they come in knowing it's safe and uh, and that there's no judgment and uh, that we care for them and we want what's best for them and we work as a family, we watch out for each other, that kind of stuff. I think uh, they should be able to come in feeling uh, a sense of acceptance. Students should definitely feel welcome, obviously, right? Um, for us, we have an ELD program, right? So we have refugees from Syria and from other countries that came out around the world, right? And they come to our school and it, it's their first time, right? First time in Canada. And they definitely feel welcome. We try to support them in any way they can. We try to make them feel welcome in the sense that uh, for like, okay, you can do what you want, right? Try to get them involved in certain events and stuff and make them feel like they're not alone, right? And that's definitely how you should feel in a supportive environment, that you're not alone, right? that they're supportive people, other adults or students, that they care about you, and that's definitely what we see in our school. So, yeah, what does it feel like? It, it feels like your heart can be open and full. It, that's what it feels like to be in a safe place. Thanks, Kevin. Well, that's exactly how I feel every day at school, thanks to Mr. Spidell, Mr. Rush, and Ms. LaBelle. Well, now that you've finished sucking up, do you feel better equipped at taking a stab at defining wellness? You bet, Taylor. After seeing it in action at all of our schools, it's clearly a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. Do you think you have a better handle now on exactly what a positive school climate is? I sure do. A positive school climate exists when all members of the school community feel safe, included, and accepted, and actively promote positive behaviors and interactions. And is that ever evident in what we saw, heard, and felt at so many of the schools across the city thanks to all of you? Please keep up the amazing work you are all doing in making the schools in the OCDSB such a great place to be. Now we thought it would be a good time to send it off to the experts to get some additional tips. If you could be principal for one week, what sort of changes would you make? I would, first of all, not give that much homework because it can get hard. And I would give popcorn to everybody to school every single day of the week. You get free popcorn. Um, there's 
Five recesses instead of two. Five recesses instead of two. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> Would the whole day just be recess? If I was the principal, I would make everyone do writing because that's the thing I don't like to do. Well, I would, I would let people, if they're ever um, in a subject, they um, want to like do something else, or like if we're reading a book and they don't like the book, I would let them like, draw on whiteboards or like do whatever they're feeling. Personally, I'd put a whole bunch of play structures in the school. I would um, make sure that everyone was like having fun and doing what they were supposed to be doing, but also I would give teachers free coffee. Um, I would let everybody have a happy time and play games and no studying, no test. Yeah. Make recess all day long? Um, I would make a few changes just like for like a day to make it so then it's more like amusing. Like maybe we have like a few days where we go outside all of the school and just have fun. I'd probably have no homework and no social studies. Every day. Um, like the whole time of the day, playtime. Make just all of it playtime, school? Yeah, the whole day. How are you going to learn? <laughs> no learning in school. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Thank you.